what up guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is victor and today i'm bringing you a whole different video this is gonna be my first pc build in the channel i have done this before and this is gonna be my main streaming pc as i move forward with gaming on pc only moving away from console so i'm gonna going to get rid of that ps4 and i'm just going to give you a breakdown of how i achieved getting other parts what were the cost now this is the amd ryzen 5 1600 i got this from micro center for 79.99 to have it on sale still but you gotta have to go to the store so if you have a micro center near you run down to the store and get you one of these as soon as you can this is for the price, you can't beat it for eighty dollars, really, seven nine nine nine. So it's gonna be the CPU. So to pair that CPU with, we're going to use the Sapphire Nitro Plus RX five eighty, eight gigabyte, which I got it used from a local seller of Facebook Marketplace in conjunction with the HD sixty Pro. So I paid two hundred for both of these together. And I already tested them out and they work perfectly fine. And I also did a TLC on the graphics card, cleaned it out, put new thermal paste on it. There's a video, I'm gonna leave in the link above. So keep your eyes out for that if you wanna go check it out. All right guys, as we move on, I'm gonna have two storage options. There's gonna be the one terabyte from WD so this is only a 128 gigabyte M.2. This is gonna be one of my most expensive purchases as a single item that really, I just wanted RGB so I had to spend the extra money. This was 96 bucks on Newegg and this is the XPG 16 gigabyte speeds of 3000 megahertz. Also by a data and it matches with the color of the M.2 that I'm gonna be using. And these have integrated RGB, as you already see. And for our motherboard, is gonna be the Asus Prime B450 Plus that I got it in conjunction with the Corsair H100i Pro. So I got these both of a guy on Facebook Marketplace for 120. He gave me the motherboard for 80 bucks and he gave me the Corsair H100i that I will be showing you right up now. So, I do have the original fans for these. I just took them apart because I'm, I'm gonna be using a different set of fans that is gonna combine everything together into one piece, one beautiful piece. For a power supply, we have an EVGA 600 watt, 80 plus. I got this one for 10 bucks on offer up. A local guy was selling it for like 30 bucks, but he lost, the, he lost the power cord. So when I drove to pick it up, he just told me take it for free. Since I lost the power cord, I can't find it. But I was like surprised that it was actually brand new. I still gave him 10 bucks and just took it. I had an actual power cord at home and this was gonna power up the machine. PC is gonna be held together by the Deepcool Matrix 55. And this is a uh, tempered glass budget computer case. This is brand new. I actually spent 60 bucks on Amazon with a prime free shipping. It has tempered glass in the front and on the side. And looks pretty, I mean the white color looks pretty good. So I hope everything looks fine at the end.
right, so we're back. Now it's been two days later, and I finally got her running nice and smooth and quiet and peaceful. The only thing that really gave me problem was this thing here. So I bought this hard drive at Micro Center, refurbished for 20, between 20 and $25. I gotta look at the receipt real quick. And for some reason, every time I would lay down on the tray, it would start grinding and beeping and it wouldn't let my computer boot at all. Like it would not let it boot for some odd reason. So I texted them because they have a text program where you just text them and explain the problem of your part. And I will have to drive down and return this and get a new one. I'm grateful that they're gonna take it back and I'm gonna get a new one other than that. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, leave your comments below, subscribe, like the video, and I will leave all the parts and pieces with links below with the prices.